Now prepare the new injectors for installation by greasing the indicated area and fitting a new ceiling ring. The contact surface of the ceiling ring must remain grease free. Mount the appropriate clamping claws. Then insert the injectors. But only hand tighten the expansion bolts initially. Back to star diagnosis. The data for the control unit has been transferred and the coding is complete. Now teach in the control unit. Follow the menu guidance until the program asks you to scan the new adjustment values for the injectors. Scan the code on the right of the injector, covering the other code with your finger. Record each injector individually and confirm. Now for the rail. If you don't need to change the rail, just replace the hollow bolt on the fuel hose. If you have a vehicle with a part set that contains a rail, you must replace the rail. Loosen the high pressure line. Remove the electrical plug connections and open the fixing screws. Remove the rail and replace it with the new one. In each case, replace the hollow bolt with the new bolt with connecting piece. Remember to insert the sealing ring. When tightening, position the hose parallel to the rail and manually support the connecting piece. Alignment must be parallel to the rail. Loosen the holder for the fuel filter supply at the inlet port shut-off actuator. You will need the bolt again in a moment. Insert the venturi underneath the cable duct and fuel hose. Now attach the bolt loosely to the inlet port shut-off actuator. Push the venturi fuel hose onto the connecting piece of the hollow bolt and close the click clamp. Now insert the high pressure lines between the injectors and the rail. Only hand tightening initially. Make sure that the lines are correctly installed. The lines of the two rear cylinders are identified by a rail flag on the rail side in addition to the familiar black bar. Now tighten the expansion bolts of the clamping claws with 15 Newton meters. In the next step, tighten the expansion bolts twice with a rotation angle of 90 degrees. Check the installation position of the injectors with a straight edge. All injectors must be at exactly the same height. If this is not the case, check the installation of the injectors. Now you can tighten the high pressure lines to the injectors with 33 Newton meters. Then replace the housing cover and ceiling rings of the connector housing for the electrical connections of the injectors. Dispose of the old parts. Once done, clip the wiring harness onto the high pressure lines, connect all connectors to the injectors, and affix the new securing clips contained in the parts set. The arrow on the clip must point upwards. Lubricate the rubber seal on the connecting piece with special oil. Now connect the leakage oil pipe to the injectors. Lock the line on the injector so that the white marking is visible. Then fit the connector to the camshaft sensor again. Push the engine harness cable duct down again. Make sure that it engages correctly. Bolt the cable duct back onto its fixing point. Reattach the connector for the exhaust back pressure sensor.
In the part set, you will find a retaining clip, which you now fix between the high pressure line for cylinder 3 and the Venturi. Then screw the Venturi tightly to the inlet port shutoff actuator and insert the new holder for the fuel supply hose into the Venturi holder. If a fuel filter with a long drain hose is fitted, you now have to reinstall it. To do this, shorten the plate on the drain connection. Lay the line beneath the cable duct and secure it to the cable duct with a cable tire. Now loosen the fuel hose to the high pressure pump on the filter. Replace the click clamp with a new one and mount the hose to the Venturi. The click clamps will be closed later. Press the hose into the holder on the Venturi. Push the hose down again fully after mounting to avoid chafe marks. Now connect the open connecting piece on the fuel filter to the Venturi using a long or short hose depending on the fitted filter type. Both variants are contained in the parts set. Then fix the hose holder between the fuel hose and the coolant hose. When you have checked that the fuel hoses do not rub or kink anywhere, close the click clips. Now check the distance between the holder on the Venturi and the coolant hose underneath. This must be at least 3 mm. Adjust the holder slightly if necessary. Then remove the hose clamp. Finally, black out the original adhesive label with the injector adjustment values. Conclude the teach-in process for the injection system with star diagnosis.